Hey guys, in this little video, I just want to go ahead and show off HTC's the One Series, the One X versus the One S versus the One V in a benchmark pro and call N22 or something, I think. I have it installed on all of my devices over here. So we have the One X in the middle, and then we have the One V here, uh, One V here on the right side. Wait a sec, why does the One V have this? Isn't they all running uh, on Android 4.0.3? I'm pretty sure the one we also should be on that. Android version 4.0.3, but it has another settings. Maybe it could be a different sense version or something. Okay, let's go ahead and go back. Uh, close all the apps on all of them. And let's go ahead and open up this N22 benchmark program on all of them. I'm not sure if we will be able to do this at the same time. And also, like the video if you think this is porn. Kind of like porn, I mean. Or not not, not as good as the pirate based porn uh, new section. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go to tests over here. And then we're going to run it at the same bloody time. Uh, I think it should be, yeah, default on all of them. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do this, baby. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we, we, the, one, the one V, I clicked on it. One second faster or something. Uh, should be. I mean, the one X and one V, they were kind of the same over there. The one next a little bit slower, but uh, I did tap on it a little before. And yeah, the one V is uh, over up there as well, 14%. I'm gonna say it doesn't look like it's a major difference between the one V, that no, no, I mean the one S uh, dual core processor versus the and Nvidia Tegra 3 processor uh, quad core in the One X. Yes, the One X is running on a quad core processor, the One S is running on a dual core QCOM Snapdragon S4 processor, MSM something processor. They're all 35% on the CPU integer performance. Pretty great. Getting some progress. Let's turn this. And I think you can say, even though it tapped on the one S a little bit faster, uh, we can see that it's it's a few, it's a little bit quicker. They are all here doing the tests, and which one do you think is going to be the winner? Uh, if you look at the FPS here, we can see that uh, NVIDIA Tiger 3 is performing a little bit better and then the FPS on the One V is... So, yeah, that will come the same. Uh, the FPS over here, 57, 50, 58 on the One S. We don't see the FPS on the on the on the one x yeah there we go 58 59 i mean it's not a big difference and then also we have the we can see that it's not really long, running full screen on both these one s and one x you have these three dots down here which you don't get on the one v i'm not sure why not but that's pretty funny maybe not uh testing sd card right speed uh yes yeah boy Wow, this one finished up faster. The budget smartphone finished up faster. Okay, that was random. I uh, got a score of 2048.28. Why? Maybe it's because they have something that doesn't have. Okay, so uh, the test is finished up over here, and you can see uh, a ton of different things over here. Uh, but the important thing is obviously the top score. So the one that did perform the worst, or it's obviously the one we that only got the score of 2428. Uh, then on second spot, we have the 1S over here getting 7,055 7, in score. Then we had 1X that got 10,664. 
and uh, so the One X they perform better here overall score. If you take a look at the first thing here, RAM, yeah, you can see the One X really did max out there. It was almost twice uh, the what, what you got on the One S. You can also see that it's better on the CPU integer, probably because it has quad core and everything, and so much better on the CPU float points. If you go ahead and look at the 2D graphics over here, you can see they got same on One S and One X over here. Uh, and then obviously the the one V is running really low on all of these things. If you go ahead and look at the 3D graphics, we can see that we got a little better. 1258 versus 1253 uh, on, on the one X. Uh, so the one S better over there. Database I/O kind of the same. If you go ahead and write SD card write, you got 19 megabytes per second on the one s and then a few megabytes higher on the one x s d card read you can see that you got almost almost ten megabytes better in speed every second c p u frequency fifteen hundred megahertz on the one x and fifteen twelve on the one one s uh what else yeah uh the 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 c p u things the, that that's the strong point of the One X, okay? That's definitely the strong point, and obviously the One V is getting some pretty score, uh, some pretty poor scores over here uh, on the CPU and stuff. Uh, so a quick loop test here in that program uh, might run another benchmark test in another video, but for now we're just gonna leave it like this. See. You.